What is up people? Today I'm going to show you guys the technology that I used on my website to get free SSL. So stay tuned. When you mention SSL, people get upset. SSL costs money. Only a handful of people in your company can order SSL cert. And then when it finally comes to you, you get it on a USB stick. And people have to come over and type in passwords. And they don't even know the password. And it's back and forth to get the password. And the next time you'll hear about this SSL certificate is when it expires and your production is down. Now this is my website. You can take a look here. Everything I do on this channel will go onto this website and you can see links to the videos, to GitHub open source repos. Um, this is going to be a great learning platform. So remember to hit that like button and the subscribe button so that you get notifications when I upload and you can learn a ton of new things as I go on my journey of learning stuff about software engineering. Now on my website, I basically have this load balancer and this is where traffic terminates. SSL terminates at this load balancer. So I needed to install SSL certificate over here. And if you have a traditional web server, if you're running Apache, a web server or an IIS or whatever it is, um, I'm going to show you guys how to install SSL certificate depending on what technology you use. Under the hood, it's the same kind of utility that runs and you need to own the DNS. So in my case, I own this DNS and you also need to own the web server because you have to install a utility there that will do the domain validation and give you a free SSL certificate. I want you guys to head over to letsencrypt.org. Um, it's an amazing uh, website and a, an amazing concept. Now, Let's Encrypt is a free automated SSL certificate authority. And deep down, SSL certification can be quite complex. You know, I described how daunting it is just to get your SSL certificates rotated. Now, Let's Encrypt makes this process really simple. They have their own like protocol that they've defined and it's becoming like a new SSL standard. And the protocol basically just boils down to if you own a valid, if you own a valid domain and you can prove it and you own the web server where that domain is pointing to and you can prove it, um, Let's Encrypt will give you a free SSL certificate. And so the same process goes for renewing that certificate. So it's really easy. Let's take a look at the protocol. It's actually very, very simple how it works. Um, the protocol is just the process of making sure you are the domain owner and that you own the web server. So if you can prove you own the web server by putting a utility on it, and you also prove you own the domain because you can configure the domain to point to the web server, Let's Encrypt will test you um, by receiving a, re a certificate request from your utility that you have on your web server. And then it asks the utility to place a temporary file on the web server. Um, Let's Encrypt will then, after a few milliseconds, follow the network hops of the DNS to get to that temporary file. So basically, um, if it's your server, you prove it by by installing a utility there, that utility places a file, making it accessible via the web temporarily. And then Let's Encrypt will then conclude the challenge by issuing you a certificate um, to that utility. And then the utility can store that certificate wherever you configure it. And you can, you can do this entire process using like Bash or PowerShell. Um, I'm gonna show you how my load balancer that I have automates this whole process even easier so I don't even have to write a single line of code. Now I've mentioned um, utilities that you have to install on the web server and there's a couple of these utilities that follow ACME protocols but a popular one here is CertBot. Um, you can use CertBot on any infrastructure. It doesn't have to be a container based new magic uh, Kubernetes type of platform. Um, this is simply just a command line utility that helps automate ACME protocol I just described. So you can write up a PowerShell or a Bash script, just calling this command line utility. And then this utility will call Let's Encrypt, ask the utility to put a file on disk. Um, the utility will do all this automatically and basically get that, um, that challenge sort of uh, approved by Let's Encrypt and then it will spit out a certificate. So 
I realized the first thing that I was going to need is a domain. So I went over to Google domains, got my domain from Google and there's a custom a record that you have to set. So you need the IP address down here of your web server that you set as an a record. That means anyone that searches for this DNS um, in their browser will resolve to this IP address. So you need a web server running. Your website needs to have a public IP address and you need to obviously have a domain that you own. Now I run my website on DigitalOcean using Kubernetes. I can access my cluster um, pretty easily by following this get started page. And you can see here, I got my cube config. I said get services and I've got a ingress, which is my load balancer. And that's the IP address that, that I'm exposing for my website. And that IP address sits with on that same A record for, for my DNS. So DNS points to the service. When I look at the, get the list of pods, you can see my load balancer here is up and running. Now to get the SSL magic, it was a very simple step. I have this configuration on GitHub, so check it out. Also check out my architecture video where I go into depth about all of this um, configuration and files. But the SSL just boils down to this one config file. There's an ACME setting for the ACME protocol that I described earlier, and then the domains. Now you need to fill out your domain name. In my case, it's the domain name from my Google um, domains and then I put my personal email address and my configuration and I applied this. As soon as I apply this, you will see when you look at the um, load balancer logs for traffic, you'll see it takes in the TOML configuration file. It then does a whole bunch of things and um, starts enabling HTTPS. It then goes down to this point here, which is testing certificate renew. And if we go down, we can see the logs here, ACME registering account. Um, you can see all my domain stuff. You can have multiple domains in here, by the way. Um, it makes a call. Couldn't find a resolver, it tries to another resolver. And boom, server responded with a certificate. This literally happened in like a few seconds. It's insane. And then when I got to my website, it was HTTPS. I just had to refresh it. So that's how easy it is to get SSL on the website. Now, as I said earlier, this entire thing is on GitHub. So if you're interested in um, running cloud native architecture and you're interested in all the stuff I'm doing on this channel, um, follow along and subscribe and go over to this GitHub repo and clone it out and you'll see everything, all the topics I, disc I talk about in this in the series is all, it's all documented here. Um, including the SSL stuff and the sample configuration. You can literally spin it up using Docker Compose um, and then you can run like Minikube or if you're on, on Windows, you can use the Kubernetes offering for Docker for Windows and it all just works, which is amazing. Right, so you guys can see how um, easy that was. Like it literally just took me two minutes. Like once I had everything figured out, um, I just, applied the configuration and the load balancer went off did its magic and got me a certificate so that's uh, friggin awesome so check out let's encrypt check out certbot and start um, automating your ssl certificates so you can take out, out all these manual operations of trying to renew and having certificates expire and things like that it's just not worth your time um, anyway guys um, thanks for watching this is um, the end of this one now i am working on some other stuff um, Right now it's taking me so long to get music for my YouTube videos, so I'm thinking of automating that pro uh, process. And I've actually started another project, um, which is um, about machine learning algorithms and things. So it's gonna be super cool. And I've built up a little platform where I can actually um, pull down music automatically and do some machine learning on it and figure out, you know, look at, um, yeah, anyway subscribe and we'll catch you soon peace